Let's take one more look at the cycle of consciousness from the perspective of the consciousness itself. What are the elements of consciousness as we move around the cycle? We, have, we start with awareness of the senses. You can feel yourself in your body. You can see the space around you. You can feel and see your skin. So we say in developmental vision that vision develops under the tutelage of active touch. You know, there was a study at uh, Harvard where they took two cats and hooked them up to uh, one harness where one cat could move and when it moved, it moved the other cat and they had the visual stimuli arranged where they both saw exactly the same thing. So a cat that moves itself and one that's being moved passively, seeing, seeing or being exposed to the same patterns of light information in their space world, guess what happened? The one that, that moved actively developed normal vision. The one that was moved passively, despite the same exact photons falling on the retina, was blind, functionally blind. Couldn't interact with objects, couldn't understand, couldn't get meaning or direct action out of their light environment, even though their eyes were perfectly healthy, brain was perfectly healthy, but it didn't, didn't develop because of that lack of feedback loop, lack of interaction. So, so awareness of our senses, being aware of your senses is to be in your body, to be, and that moves us into the second level of presence, being present. That's an active engagement with that sensation. And so by just consciously thinking of your feet, feeling your feet, you bring your presence there. And that's a function of the spirit body. And even if I say, now stop feeling your feet, huh, there's... You've, you've locked in some presence there, and you can't just turn it off as easily as you can turn it on, and that's a good thing. So when we remember to expand our presence, you can, right now, the room that you're in, fill that room with your presence. Feel your presence in the room, behind you, where you cannot see, but you can visualize and to, in all directions. See, see the room and feel it actively. This is a, an uh, exercise to expand your presence. And then we have identification. We identify self and other, and we identify you know, the color and the shape and the form, and that we name things, we have words and language, and, and this gives meaning. We use meaning in strings to create thought in the, in the earth element. Uh, then we uh, have choice, the will, quality of will in the, in the water element. We have wisdom, the potential for wisdom, and to organize and structure veridically, truly according to how things are, and therefore to be in coherence, in a state of coherence, with the world around us, where we become a harmonic and, and constructive presence. And ultimately the soul is that transcendent aspect, where it's not just the ego, of what I know from the past, it's my soul is becoming, and it's a transcendent of time, transcendent of space, therefore able to be present here now when invited. So tell, as ego, invite your future self to be present with you and feel the opening of those gates of, you know, we can close the gates against the world and try to be in control, in a small control, like how much, how much life can we hold in a tight closed fist versus how much can we hold with our open palms where we give and receive freely and we allow the universe to flow through us. <laughs>